Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, the main mission is to find some tires. Um, not for this, um, check out the last video, but I'll show y'all again down here. Ooh, look at that. That pearl shining this morning, as always. Um, <clears throat> but first, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna grab some four wheeler parts and uh, go meet a guy to buy them, and I'll see y'all when we get there. All right guys, so we're down here at the shop, and I just thought I would note here the weather. My lord, it has been amazing the last like week. Um, but, I'll show y'all what I'm looking for tires for uh, real quick. I need to move this too. But I'm looking for tires for these wheels. Jeep wheels. 15 inch. You know, I'm looking for 15s to go on these wheels for now. Um, prefer to go ahead and find some uh, like ATs or MTs or something like that. And also, this is the bumper that I talked about in the last video. Uh, JK fog light bumper. Got some scuffs here, but nothing too bad. It's not bent. Um, fog lights, still got the bulbs in them. You can see that. Tow hooks, still got those. So, I posted this for sale. I mean, it's untrimmed bumper. Not bent, nothing like that, so. Hopefully it'll sell pretty quick. Now, I'm gonna go in here and grab a 300 exhaust that I got sold. As you can see here, there's a bunch of 300 stuff all over the place. Getting this thing tore down. Gonna try to get the rear end out sometime this week. I think I got it sold. Um, now, I'm going to grab one of these exhausts. As you can see, this one ain't rusted out or nothing. Um, full exhaust. 300 exhausts are uh, all one piece, all the way back. So, I'm going to take it. Meet a guy here in a little bit. Then I'm going to swing by the... Uh, tire shop and see see if I can find some 15 inch tires inside this in here whoa now get the mud off the camera <laughs> And that right there is why I bought a GoPro. <laughs> but, uh, like I was saying, all this 300 stuff needs to go. This needs to go. <laughs> that, I have parts for it. Um, for Randy, as you can see, got the diff out. Got it apart. Um, the gears look fine in it. See if I can do this without dropping it. All the gears look fine in it. Just letting it sit here and drip and get all the grease out of it. You see here 420 motor. Over here, 300 motor, 300 top end. There's a front diff, transfer case. Another 300 motor. Then you go back over here, and there's another 300 motor that come out of the red bike over there. So I need to get some of this stuff going because uh, that table needs to go up. I also got some shelves that need to go up right here. Got a whole bunch of shelving, um, metal shelving, so that needs to go up. Try to get a little more organized. 
I believe I got these racks and this bumper sold. Uh, um, yeah, guys. Now this table right here, I kind of briefly talked about it. What we're going to do with this table is we're going to build some legs, put casters on it. Oh, you can roll it around like a toolbox. And it's big enough, if you've noticed, to put a four-wheeler on top. Um, we're going to make it to where you can drive a four-wheeler up on here with the ramps, you know, our normal ramps over there, and put any four-wheeler on top to work on it. Should make life a little bit easier. Um, also, I'm going to build some shelves under it, you know. But I'm going to go up here and meet that guy who wants that uh, exhaust. And I'll be back here in a little bit. And uh, hopefully, I can get some, uh, find some tires today. All right, guys. So I just got the exhaust sold. Guy just picked it up, and I looked over here, and this woman's locked her keys in her car, and that's the horn honking. <laughs> the security system's going off in the car. But anyway, I'm gonna head back to the house, charge my almost dead phone, and I'm gonna call around and see if I can find some tires for the Jeep. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say uh, what kind of Jeep I got, um, but I will tell y'all it's a '94. So there's your hint. Until Monday, mo or Friday. This is Tuesday. Friday, I'm gonna go pick up the Jeep. Um, so Thursday, I'm gonna go pick up the trailer and a couple other things to take with me because it only has three tires on it right now. Um, so that's why I'm looking for tires. And one out of the three tires that's on it is is actually holding air. So I need to at least find three tires. So that is today's mission. So I'm gonna get back to the house and we're gonna see what we can find. Okay guys, so I hopped on old faithful Craigslist here and I found these here, uh, Jeep wheels and tires. Five wheels, 225-75-16s, brand new looking tires, and uh, I'm going to go get them, so uh, 175 bucks, can't really beat it, especially with the tires looking like that, you know, um, yeah, so I'm going to figure out where would be a good time and place for them to meet, um, and I got, you know, that cash on me and I'll go get them so um, I'll talk to y'all here in a little bit when we go get them all right guys so this is the next day um, I actually just got back went to the bank grabbed some money stuff like that um, got some more parts ordered for the Jeep that I'm getting um, picking up Friday and last night went and got the trailer so we're all set for that um, another thing that I'm probably gonna do tomorrow before we go get the Jeep is I think I got some old taillights or uh, they're actually new taillights that I was gonna put on the square body um, which is over there I think I'm gonna throw them on the trailer for Wayne for letting us borrow it all the time. So I'm gonna do that, fix the wiring up here. But that'll be for tomorrow. Um, now, I showed y'all the wheels and tires that I was gonna look at yesterday. And uh, the guy that has them wants to wait. Uh, and I understand that, you know, but I need, I need something right now. <laughs> Um, so, I found another set with some 33s, hopefully they don't rub too bad until I get my lift, but I'm going to go get those here in a little bit, it's like 3 o'clock now, and uh, as soon as my grandpa gets off work actually, we're going to go get them, um, 
Also, uh, the new the wheels that I'm looking at. Yes, I know they are JK wheels, and the bolt pattern is different, but that's not a big deal. That's part of what I have showing up tomorrow. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Um, sit down here. Also, one quick other thing is a lift. I have a lift ordered for it. I'm hoping it'll be here like Saturday or something. So, I can get that installed on it. Now, the Jeep doesn't have a motor in it. Um, but the guy I'm getting it from is throwing in a motor for it that has less models than the actual Jeep. Um, so that's kind of like an upgrade in itself. And the guy also threw in the wheels and tires down there in that JK bumper that I'm trying to sell. So um, for what them wheels and tires and that bumper's worth, that's the price of the Jeep right there. Um, Paid 250 for it, and then he's thrown in the motor and threw in that stuff down there. Um, and then the wheels and tires that I'm going to get tonight, those were, I think I'm paying 200 for them or something like that. And then the adapters were like 100 bucks, so not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'm going to try to have that Jeep going in the next couple weeks. Um, I got head gaskets ordered for the motor since that is a common Jeep issue. Got new uh, got new head gaskets, new head studs ordered. So maybe that will get here in the next week or so so we can get it going. Um, the guy said he has a bunch of the parts um, in a quick little background here. Is the guy had a Jeep. He had that Jeep. And then they bought another Jeep. Well, the Jeep, the other Jeep that they bought started smoking. And uh, his wife was a mail carrier. So they swapped the motors, you know, in like a day. And he said it still smoked. So they ended up swapping the computers. And the computer was making it overfuel, so it smoked. So I'm getting a 70,000 mile motor. Uh, the Jeep has 223 on it. Um, so all I need to do is put the motor back in it and get either a new computer or reset that one and that might work, I don't know. Um, so that's not too bad of a deal. Um, the front, uh, like grill and radiator support and all that stuff's off of it. And, uh, but he has all that stuff, so. But the plan is, because, see, I'm going to tear this truck down in the next couple months for powdered suspension and all of that stuff. Um, so the plan is to do Jeep content while the truck is down. I'm going to be tearing that apart, but I'm not going to show any of that process on here until y'all see the reveal video when it's done. So y'all stay tuned for all that kind of stuff. And uh, the Jeep, the Jeep, I'm going to get it. Friday, like I said earlier, um, and that will be Monday's video, so y'all stay tuned for that, and then I'll have other Jeep videos following that week uh, for a couple different things, so y'all stay tuned for that. Um, now, I'm going to go in here and get some more stuff and gather it up, start editing this video, and then here in a little bit. It is 3.06 right now. So here in about 3.30, 4 o'clock, something like that, we're going to go pick up those tires. So I will see y'all then. All right, guys. Got them here in the shop. And they're pretty good looking tires. These are the two best ones. They're still pretty good. Pretty good tread to them, you know. And the wheels. I rolled this one out, see y'all can see it, but pretty nice wheels, 17s, and these do have sensors in them, not that I'm going to need them, but they do have sensors in them, so I'm going to end the video out here, thanks for watching guys, y'all stay tuned for Monday's video.
Um, these are getting installed next week. The adapters are getting installed next week. The lift's getting installed next week. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope y'all have a great day.